think I should probably make a video on uh, how to treat blue balls for all the Blink-182 fans that have been waiting for the new album for a year now. Today there is a high amount of tra traffic. 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 There are breadcrumbs coming out. It's like Blink-182 fans are like the new Q-tarts. And these breadcrumbs include posters appearing across in cities across the world. So we have posters in Toronto appearing at a convenience store, hinting at a, something new, and a QR code which takes people to Blink-182.com slash stall. Those same posters appeared in Chile as well. Rumors have it that at a Bowling for Soup show recently, people were there passing out Blink-182 stickers with a little teaser note saying, stay tuned, something big is coming. And rumors abound. For instance, someone says that next Friday, the song One More Time will be released on K-Rock at 10 a.m. They promise that this one's real. Who knows? We will see. Something's coming eventually, though. What other new news is there? Uh, we got, we're getting new art, updated art, Blink art. Eventually, that album's going to come out. I believe it's going to be in October, which Travis has mentioned in Instagram comments, where a lot of information has been coming out. He says, One More Time is his favorite Blink song in the comments of Instagram, somewhere along the way. I'm the world's first punk rock Kardashian blogger, and if you don't like that, you can go fuck yourself then. There was a scare out of the Kardashian camp, the, the, particularly the Kardashian Barker camp last week, which the world learned about when Travis left the European leg of the Blink-182 tour to return home to Los Angeles. We did not know what was going on. Many people speculated that perhaps the baby was due and, and being born. That was not the case. We learned on September 6th when Travis tweeted, quote, God is great. I flew home for a life-threatening emergency surgery for our baby that I'm so grateful went well. I want to say thank you for all the support. Tour resumes Friday. Courtney took to Instagram where she wrote, quote, I will be forever grateful to my incredible doctors for saving our baby's life. I am eternally grateful to my husband who rushed to my side from tour to be with me in the hospital and take care of me afterwards. My rock. And to my mom, thank you for holding my hand through this. As someone who has had three really easy pregnancies in the past, I wasn't prepared for the fear of rushing into urgent fetal surgery. I don't think anyone who hasn't been through a similar situation can begin to understand that feeling of fear. I have a whole new understanding and respect for the mamas who have had to fight for their babies while pregnant. Praise be to God. Walking out of the hospital with my baby boy in my tummy and safe was the truest blessing. Travis replied to that, quote, God is great, with a prayer emoji. And obviously, thank God that everyone's okay. A very scary situation. It makes sense, of course, that Travis went home. I think that these shows will be made up again and Blink-182 fans, like, your biggest fear should just be, like, Tom leaving again, you know, or one of the members dying. Um, some missed tour dates, whatever. So that's kind of where we're at in the uh, Kardashian Blink-182 world. Um, let's see what's to come. Really excited about the new music. And, of course, we're stoked that everybody is healthy and fine. Thank you. Have a good one. Please, I beg you, subscribe. Please.